everyone welcome back y'all we are back and I cannot believe this is the last week of March so with that being said we have a bunch of exciting news coming up this week we have our debt update coming up on Saturday and there's been a pretty big chunk of significant change to that debt update we are not currently out of debt but we are getting closer so be waiting for that to come up. We will be doing a plan with me this coming weekend. We're gonna be opening our channel to a little bit more content. And y'all, we are working super duper duper hard to get trackers done and get things up on the Etsy shop so that we can open it to you all. So with that being said, one of the biggest updates we have for you this week is I was able to finally close out that 17 year old plus account that I had at another bank and did not know I had it. I somehow just nicely forgotten about it and it was occurring interest and all things of that nature. So that has been closed out. I have received that money and uh, we are cash stuffing it this week, y'all. And I am just blown away that I forgot about an account. I'm glad that the bank approached me by calling my mom who then called me because she was secondary on the account and I was able to give them my new information. That account was open shortly before I had to go to Fort Lewis, Washington. That's an army base up in Washington, the state. I actually missed that base. I actually missed that state. I loved the state of Washington. Maybe in the future we may be directing ourselves back that direction because I really, really do love uh, the state of Washington. So with that being said, everything's been closed down from that account. Money has been withdrawn and transferred to my bank that I currently bank at now. And this was just a huge, huge blessing because I forgot about it, y'all. And that's a good thing. I guess if you put money in the account and you forget about it for a while, you draw some serious interest off the bat, um, especially for 17 years. So with that being said, this is going to be an unusual week for cash stuffing. Some of my totals are going to be a lot higher than normally I would stuff into my binders in one given time. Um, it's kind of like a windfall, I guess you would say. In a sense, I didn't scratch the lottery tickets and win, but <laughs> I got a call on one, I guess. So with that being said, today we are stuffing $1,723 into our different holiday and celebrations. And it is also going to close out two of my envelopes, which I'm super happy about. My Christmas envelope is going to be fully funded for 2023. Y'all, we're just getting ready to go into April and I've already fully funded Christmas with the exception of the penny challenge. Once that's completed, that would be fully funded as well. That gets put with my Christmas. And then y'all, we got Christmas in the bag already. So with that being said, we have that. We also will be closing out our pet's Christmas envelope because all we need is three more dollars for that. That makes $100. I do have some exciting news for that as well. So we'll be talking about that here in a minute. So we have a $1,000 placeholder. We have a $500 placeholder, so that makes 15, 16, 17. I'm being very careful with this money, y'all. Making sure I know exactly where I put it. So 17, 20, I'll put that a little bit over here because I reached for that by accident. 21, 22, and 23. So 1723 dollars Again, this is not a usual amount that I put in, but y'all, I'm super happy I have the means to put this in now. So with that being said, my son is making a tracker for celebrations and he is currently doing that right now. So while he's doing that, um, I am gonna go ahead and put in a five hundred dollars for celebrations now this five hundred dollars that i'm actually putting in makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because i have condensed my celebrations and holidays down to one envelope and i'm a little bit nervous about that because even though i have a sheet off to the side that says hey this is your max out and this is what you can spend for each holiday each birthday each anniversary things of that nature I am super duper missing my other binder, which I had by the month. We may return to that, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to use the simplified method a little bit right now. But as you'll start to see, binders are already coming back because Danya's high school binder is coming on board this week, y'all. And that has 21 trackers in it. So <laughs> with that being said, we are definitely putting in $500 today to holidays and celebrations. This makes me feel a lot better. This is the month of April. You all know Danya already received her laptop. 
we are in the last month of March, I should say, but for April, Danya has already received her laptop, so all I have to do is take them out to eat and get cake. So with that being said, not a really big expense. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to actually be going to the skating rink at the end of this month or not, but her birthday isn't until the 29th, and she will be 14 years old. So that is our first envelope. Our second envelope is Christmas, y'all, and we have $1,050 ready for Christmas. I told you that my budget for Christmas is $2,500. If I put this in with the $1,050 we already have in here, I am closing out this envelope. So next time you see this, you will not be seeing this envelope at all. It will be fully funded. So with that being said, I will put a fully funded slip in here. And now I have $2,050 for Christmas. Now, $2,500 is what I need to be at. But with the penny challenge, you all know that's just right below $700. I probably will top that off at the $700 mark. And we will have $2,750 for Christmas. And I wanted $2,500. So we are really moving in the right direction quickly. The next one is Pets Christmas. And Pets Christmas only needed $300. $3 more to reach the $100 marks, one, two, and three. We are also closing out this one. One of my subscribers did mention that it might be a really cool idea to donate some of this money to either our local shelter or to a pet's rescue, and I, it's exactly what I'm going to do. I have a rescue in mind to donate some of this money to. I have three chihuahuas, so they will be getting a little something, something for Christmas. Not anything big or drastic, and the reason for that is, y'all, is the fact that they have a million and one blankets. They have 50,000 toys. I kid you not, they have toys everywhere throughout this house. They do have a toy box. It is completely full of toys. And if they destroy a toy, we have to throw it away. We don't replace it this time because my mother just said she's got another box of about 50 or 60 toys that she's sending up that were donated to her. And she's already given out other toys to other dogs and things of that nature. So she is going to send up a bunch of toys. She just got a flood line of toys in um, that were donated. So with that being said, part of this money is going to go to elderly dogs because y'all know everybody wants that cute little puppy that's in the window, but nobody wants the older dogs who have problems and who may be in the older stages of life. So I want to make sure that we do something good for elderly dogs. And one of my subscribers did suggest that I do a donation in the name of Sid Happy Logan. Y'all know that was my 17 year old, well, soon to be 17. He was almost 17 years old. He was months away from being 17. He was 16 and he passed away in October of 2022. So with that, or I'm sorry, October of 2021. So with that being said, um, we are going to donate in the name and memory of Sid Happy Logan. So we have that one. Our next one right now is our what is our next one? <laughs> what is our next one? Um, after that, we have oh decorations. That's why I had a I had a moment. Of, what? <laughs> so with decorations, we are going to go ahead and place that order for our black Christmas tree, y'all. I'm super duper excited. I'll be pulling the money out of here this week and ordering that off of Amazon. I did find it for one hundred and. $15. So I'm going to get that Christmas tree. It'll leave just barely a little bit left money in here. We have like 140 in here, so we won't have much left in here, but we are going to put in a 20. And the next thing that I would like to have done is getting our tree skirt for our tree, and I want it with our family name. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to put 20 in here. And again, we'll be taking money out of here momentarily in order to go ahead and get that Christmas tree paid for so that we can have our Christmas tree. All right, y'all, we're not going to color the things in right now because Philip has schoolwork to do today. He is making trackers this afternoon. He is doing all the things right now for me. And yes, y'all, my son is actually making the trackers for our Etsy shop. He's going to be making all the products, all the physical products that I'll be ordering and putting on the shop here in a little bit of time. Um, it's something that I'll do, but I sit down with my son. We go through the trackers. I tell him exactly what we'd like. He knows what the trackers look like. He knows what to do, and he is going away at it, y'all. He is just hammering it 
And with that being said, he is getting paid because I just had him get a order a cash app card for himself. And as I get paid through the Etsy shop, he will also get paid because he's working and uh, he needs money because he likes to eat out, y'all. He's got a bad habit of liking Uber Eats. <laughs> That's expensive. And he's a gamer on top of it. So y'all know how much that gets expensive. So I will shore this up later. I'm going to put $200 into this challenge. And y'all, we are over the halfway mark on the penny challenge. So this is something that should be done throughout the year. We have accelerated it. We accelerated it last year and it worked amazing. We're accelerating it again this year. So 200 is going in here. Next time you see this tracker, he will help me fill out $200 worth. And if there's change left over, y'all know that I told you I was going to the bank this coming paycheck and I'm going to be extracting some change to put in my change jar. So if there is any change that needs to be put in here, you guys will see that in our next cash stuffing, but the $200 is going in here. So he'll color off approximately $200 worth of money on here. And then the change, you'll see me dump that into the change drawer. So that is what we have for you today, y'all. It was a very quick cash stuffing, very significant amount. I was very happy to find out that I had that. So again, this was kind of like a windfall. I would definitely put it in that category because not every day do you come up with the amount of money like that and forget about an account and just let it grow for 17 years. So just to let you know, no, I told you it was over 7,500. It was 7,900 was what I was able to extract from the account and put it into my bank. So with that being said, out of the 7,900, we took a thousand away for Christmas and we took $500 away for our actual celebrations envelope as well. The $200 is just $200 that I personally put in there out of my paycheck and the $3 also came out of my paycheck. So I definitely took a pretty good chunk of money out of that 7900 took $1,500 away from that just for today's cash stuffing. The rest of the cash stuffing is coming later this week. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to show you what is happening on Wednesday because we have a big, big, big cash stuffing coming on Wednesday. So any questions, comments, concerns, and or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. We'll catch you in the next video. Until then, Without Limits is out.